now available in paperback and Kindle. Stop simping in cyberspace. Learn how to avoid predatory females like Instagram models and e-girls in their virtual con games with Stop Simping in Cyberspace. Get your copy of Stop Simping in Cyberspace in paperback and Kindle today. I was watching a Black Male Advice TV, aka Ringo, live stream where he was talking about the rise of so-called lonely single men. Now, according to this article, because dating has gone online, a lot of men are having a hard time navigating a so-called changing relationship landscape. Now, I have to call BS on this article because as I was doing research for my men's issues books like The Man Crisis and Stop Simpin' in Cyberspace, I know that there are plenty of opportunities for men out here. And this article's writer wants to try to make it look like there are it's all men that are out here having to deal with this drastically so-called changing relationship landscape. However, the only individuals who are using these online dating apps are a small group of men who are usually what I call cyber simps. And these cyber simps consist of three groups of men, which are your incels who have extremely poor social skills, your beta males who have poor social skills due to the dysfunctional way they are raised, or your whoremongers who are looking for easy sexual opportunities with the women at the bottom of the social marketplace. Most other men who have been raised in a healthy environment can go out here and find a quality woman because they have been raised with male life skills and male survival skills and one of the male life skills they have learned is to be able to identify a woman who is interested in them and to understand that there are opportunities to find women who are interested in them practically everywhere. There are four women for every one man out here and there are lots of opportunities for men to find a woman who is interested in having a relationship with them. All that man has to do is understand how to study nonverbal cues and in some cases he really doesn't have to do anything if these women see that man out here for an extended period of time they will go out here and shoot their shot themselves this is something i experienced when i was in high school and it's something i experienced when i would work at jobs like strive or when i was working at the city college of new york there were always females who were checking for me and i'm a shy overweight guy and i have no problem getting the attention of women and i know that there are a lot of healthy men out here who have no problem getting the attention of women so when i looked at this article i just wanted to laugh at many of the talking points because they're sitting there talking about there's this rise of lonely single men when I know that most men are not lonely at all, especially if those men are on their purpose. A man who is on his purpose has no problem finding women. So this article wants to sit there and say, dating opportunities for heterosexual men are diminishing as relationship standards rise. <laughs> I have to laugh at that because they're sitting there saying that relationship standards are rising and if you're on, on an online dating platform, you know that the relationship standards are at an all-time low. Any woman who is on an online dating app looking for a man basically is someone who has no standards because if you're on an online dating app, you are there because you don't have prospects in the real world. And if you don't have prospects in the real world, you know that you are on this online dating app, basically looking to sift through the trash 
hoping to find some sort of guy who will put up with all of your baggage because the only women who go on online dating platforms are women with serious issues that prevent them from being able to have a relationship with a man who is on a higher level in the social marketplace. So this our article wants to try to make it look like, oh, there's these women have all of these standards, but no women who are on online dating have no standards because basically these women never had standards when they were in the real world. And when they were in the real world, these women basically made it where they diminished their own social marketplace value by getting involved with bottom tier men like a Pookie or a Ray Ray at an early age, having a high body count by having multiple sexual partners and going out here and in some cases winding up with serious mental and emotional issues from toxic relationships with individuals like a Pookie or a Ray Ray. And because many of their relationships failed with these kinds of males, these women are not able to go out here and secure a marriage. And because they're not marriage material, what they do is get on platforms like online dating, hoping to find a big fat juicy simp who is socially awkward, naive to the social marketplace, and finding a gullible guy like this is what they're looking for on these online dating apps because most men who have some social skills or know something about women, they're not touching an online dating app because they know they have opportunities in the real world and those opportunities are around them practically every day. Any man out here with good social skills can go out here and, and get the attention of women without even trying. Most guys out here, all you have to do again is be on your purpose and you will be able to get the attention of women and not even know it. I mean, all you, when I was out here and I had a job, all I had to do was just go out here and go out here and do my job every day, mind my business, and there would be women checking for me. So I know that there is no there is no um, um, lonely guys out here because females are more pop. There's a larger population of women than men, and many of those women are checking for men. And the only men who are really lonely out here are these incels, these beta males who have poor social skills, and the main reason why these men are lonely is due to their low self-esteem, their lack of self-confidence, and their not understanding their worth and value as a man. These men are lonely basically by choice because a lot of these men don't want to put in the work out here to improve themselves. The big problem with the incel and the beta male is he wants to go out here and be sloppy, unkempt, and he wants to go out here and not know how to put up, make an effort to engage a woman. No, he has poor social skills, poor interpersonal skills, and he doesn't want to improve his social skills and interpersonal skills, and this is why he cannot notice the women checking for him, nor does he know how to approach them and shoot his shot. The, what happens to him is he wants to sit on online platforms like 4chan and 8chan, ranting about the women being with Tyrone and Chad and them going up in their guts, and he doesn't want to go out here and put in the work like going to the gym or going out here and working on his purpose 
He doesn't want to put the work in, and that's why he's sitting there talking about, oh, there's there's all these dating opportunities are diminishing. No, there are dating opportunities out here practically every day for a man, and all a man has to do is just chill out, and sometimes, again, the females will step to you. Now, this article wants to go on and talk about how Again, these females have all of these relationship standards, and I had to laugh at that again, because where are all of these standards if you're on a dating app? And again, they're sitting there talking about how women are becoming increasingly selective. No, women aren't becoming increasingly selective, and that's not something at all. Because when you're on a dating app, there are not many opportunities as related to that woman because she's in Bus Downtown. And because she is in Bus Downtown, she is basically 50, 60, 70, even 80% off what her social marketplace value was in her prime. So they're going to sit there and talk about, oh, there's all of these um, standards that these women have and th then they're sitting there talking about they prefer men who are emotionally available good communicators and have similar values <laughs> well, you're not going to find that on an online dating app no what these women are are predators and basically what they want is a big fat juicy simp to go out here and take advantage of because they have gotten a, a head in the dating game and because most men already know that these women have serious issues, they know not to get involved with these women online. So most the only guys getting out here and going and getting involved with these women are a lot of simps and these simps, again, are like these incels, these beta males, or these whoremongers, they are the only ones going on these apps. And what these dudes do, that they the, the naive simps, the cyber simps, what they do is get taken advantage of online. These women get cash app money out of them. They get um, gifts sent to them. And then after they get what they want out of this dude, they take, they, they, they basically block his number and keep it moving. Now there are some other predators who go out here and they'll try and they get involved with these guys and because they are been com completely jacked up from all of the baggage they had with other men what these women do is they basically take this man like your late Christian Ovumselli and they turn him into a punching bag that they take all of their anger out on because they've had all of these bad relationships with Pookie and Ray Ray They've had, some of them have been beaten up by Pookie and Ray Ray and had other issues with Pookie and Ray Ray. Some of them have invested emotions in other dudes and they project all that anger on Mr. Simp. And as Mr. Simp is out here, they basically turn this simp into a punching bag to take all of their anger and enrage out on. So when these women sit here and talk about they want an emotionally available, good communicator guy, no, you're not going to find that on a dating app because the only guys, again, who are out here on online dating are guys who have serious personal defects and serious issues as related to social skills, interpersonal skills, communication skills, because a man who has good interpersonal skills, he's not going on an online dating app no, he's meeting people face to face in the real world and he's making connections with people in the real world, reading their body language, studying their facial expressions, feeling their spiritual energy, and that's going to tell him whether or not that woman is emotionally available or a good communicator because the only people who communicate online are those who are extremely deficient in their social skills and this is something the article talks about oh how there are all of these skills deficits and it's those skills deficits that lead to these guys being on online dating and they these men are on online dating because many of them 
They don't know how to read a woman. They don't know how to read her facial expressions. They don't know how to read her body language. And as Ringo talked about, they don't know about touch. And touch is very important because when a woman touches you, she is connecting with you because women are emotional. And when they like a guy, they will touch that man because they are connecting with him. And that's why touching is important. And when a man touches a woman, it, it, it stimulates her emotions. And that's how you connect. And that's how you create a spark between yourself and a woman. Because again, when a woman really likes a guy and is engaged by a guy, she's going to start touching that guy. She's going to start putting her hands on that man. And that's, that's letting that man know that she is interested but these guys, they, they, a lot of them who are on online dating, they can't read a woman and they can't read. And again, they can't feel her energy to, to know that she's interested in them. These guys are extremely socially awkward and they go on online dating because they want to get an easy opportunity at a relationship. Now, the other guys who go on online dating are mostly these whoremongers, and your whoremonger only goes on dating apps looking for easy women so that he can go out here and add notches to his belt. So, a whoremonger male, yes, he will use online dating apps like Tinder and Bumble looking for a hookup, and as he's looking for the hookup, what he's looking for are these damaged women so that he can go out here and say that he got some notches in his belt. So when you look at the men who are on these online dating apps, they are the, the saddest parts of, of manhood. And this, art, this writer wanted to say, oh, there's this rise of lonely single men. Well, I've done the research on men for over 15 years, and the only men who are out here who are complaining about being lonely are, again, the men like these cyber simps who go online on these dating apps. And for the cyber simp, the dating app is a lifeline for him, and the only that's the only relationship landscape that's really changing because these men have poor social skills and they don't know how to function even online because again a person who has good social skills their personality is going to be reflected in their online presence so the only person who is having serious issues are these incels and these beta males who are looking for a codependent relationship with a woman they are basically looking for a version of mommy to take over from their own mothers and this is the only kind of guy who goes on these kinds of apps because any other guy out here isn't talk isn't really feeling lonely because like Ringo said in his live stream a man who is on his purpose is extremely busy. I practically don't have enough hours in the day to get all everything I want to do done. I spend most of my days getting up in the morning, getting ready to make the videos for my channel. Then I'm working on my books and trying to get them ready for publication like the upcoming Woman Crisis. And I'm also out here promoting books of my current SJS Direct catalog, which is over 80 titles. And I also have other errands I have to run. So I'm a practically very busy man, practically every day of the week. So the only guys sitting up here talking about being lonely are either your pookies or you got the incel sitting up on 4chan or 8chan talking about how these women are getting smashed up by Chad and Tyrone while in between watching your X videos spank bang or your Pornhub watching lots of pornography. These are the only guys out here 
who would be the rise of the lonely single guy, but that's a small category of people. But this article wants you to believe that men represent 62% of dating app users and that this lowers their chances for matches. Well, if a man, any man out here knows that a dating app isn't anything that they're gonna use to get any chances at a woman, no, just like I talked about in my book, Stop Simping in Cyberspace, a man who is out here is out in the real world and going out in the real world and just being himself, this is going to increase his chances at an opportunity to get with a quality woman because a quality woman loves it when a man makes an effort to go out here and be his best. And when she sees you out here looking nice in your fly gear, smelling nice with your top tier cologne, and just radiating masculine presence and masculine energy, this is going to attract opportunities to a man. But the whole thing is, this article wanted to say, oh, that men are the, again, 62% of dating app users. And I have to call BS on that statistic because, again, there are more women than men. And we have a large population of females out here who have been basically residents of Bus Downtown. And they are practically the larger number of people using these dating apps because their, pro they, their prospects are practically slim to none. And the only opportunities they're looking for is to get with a simp because there's no, they have rent ruined their chance at a quality man when they were very young. And they have gone out here and they're on these platforms because they have no options. Because if they had an option, they would go out here and get with any guy there who was out here who was showing them some interest. And they're not, if they have options, they're not wasting it on platforms like these dating apps. Again, these dating apps, even back in the 20, early 2010s, guys were roasting these dating apps for being a place for guys at the bottom. And there, this article wants to try to tell us that, oh, that online dating is the thing and the whole thing, and that you can reap benefits from algorithms. But what man is online looking for women when he's on his purpose? That's a critical question I have to ask the writer of this article. Any man out here is not, who, is, who is of character, he's not on this online dating app. No, he's not interested in your dating apps. No, he can go out here and get, look at all of the quality women out here, who, if they are out here, and find a, a woman who is interested in him. No, the only guys, again, who are on these dating apps are guys at the bottom of the social marketplace, guys in the food stamp section or the clearance section of bus downtown looking for women who are 50, 60, 70, even 80% off their original social marketplace value. And a lot of them are looking for an easy yes from one of these women who are in bus downtown. And as they're looking for that woman to say yes, what happens is these men wind up in a situation they wish they could have said no to because they soon find out that this woman is a female predator and that this predator basically is looking to either one, take advantage of him in order to get cash out of him and will string him along by making promises that she will drop the skid mark thong and give him a taste of the atomic waste and then after he cash apps 500 to a thousand dollars she loses his number or two he will run into one of these females who will basically has a lot of mental and emotional baggage from dealing with Pookie and Ray Ray and what this female will do is she will take out all of her anger on this dude like the woman who took the life of the late Christian Obumselli or three this guy what he will do is get involved with one of these busted females who are on online dating apps and he will wind up getting a very bad venereal disease 
because a lot of the females who do use online dating apps, some of them have serious venereal diseases from being involved with Pookie Ray Ray or that guy in Dubai who did things with the golden liquid and the brown liquid that there are things that this female has done with this man and this is what the, the only kind of women these that are on these dating apps and I listen to this guy say how can men reap the benefits of the algorithm and he talks about leveling up their mental health game but many of the females who are on these apps they have serious mental health issues and they're serious ticking time bombs and again while it makes a good point that these men need to go and address their social skills this is something that a man has to do with other men and i don't really re recommend going to one of these therapists you really or one of these dating coaches i talk about them in stop simping in cyberspace this is something men have to do out here on their own they have to start working on themselves and improving themselves and there you, you can do that without a plate like going to places like online dating because again online dating is the garbage of the social marketplace it is basically one step uh, above bus downtown and online dating again this is the place where the poorest quality women are and why you would never reap any benefits from an algorithm because there are no quality women on these platforms no these women have no standards because if you had standards you wouldn't be looking for a hookup on tinder and bumble with a whoremonger and you wouldn't be on a dating app looking for men who are of the poorest quality because quality men don't need to go on an online dating app because a quality man has oper knows that are opportunities everywhere and he can get those opportunities by just chilling out and being himself so the reason why you're seeing all of this guy he's sitting there he wants to make this article is because he wants to create a problem like Ringo talked about and he wants to sell you a solution because what a lot of these guys want to do is they want to go out here and pr tell you oh there's all of these problems with these lonely single men and then they want to sell those men a whatever program they have instead of telling them what I tell men in my book stop simping in cyberspace you're just gonna have to go out into the real world you're gonna have to take the rejections you're gonna have to take the L's you're gonna have to toughen up your skin and you're gonna have to go out here and have to hear a lot of women saying no to get to the quality women that say yes so this is the whole thing with this guy talking about there's a rise of lonely single men and again talking about 62 percent of men are dating app users that's all bs it's mostly women on these sites and their and their standards are at the lowest of low because if pookie and ray ray could get with this woman how can she sit there and talk about a high value man when she dropped her skid mark thong to Pookie and Ray Ray for free and then wants to go out here to the online dating app and then say she wants a high value man that just shows how completely backwards many of these women are talking about their so-called standards you're gonna sit there drop your skid mark thong and give Pookie and Ray Ray a taste of the atomic waste for free but when the quality man that you're looking for on a garbage place like these online dating apps you want to talk about how you want a high value man and the only men on these platforms are these bottom tier incels these beta males and these whoremongers that she's used to dealing with so that basically shows us all that water seeks its own level and the only level for these women are bottom feeders and again this article wants to make it look like the relationship landscape is changing no it's water seeking its own level 
and they want to try to make it look like oh there's all these lonely single men no men are on their purpose like myself working on our goals men are out here taking care of their own business and men are out here working towards building we don't have time for the toxic females on online dating apps no we're out here trying to work to make this paper and we have no time for sitting here dealing with these kinds of females on online dating apps and their madison avenue and hollywood ideas of relationships no we've got to take care of business because we've only got a limited time to build and the guys who are sitting there talking about how they're lonely and single these are guys who have too much time on their hands because they have no purpose they have no direction like incels the incel will spend his time hours a day on social media like 4chan and 8chan complaining about women what again watching the porn on sites like Pornhub X videos spank bang and uh, and other assorted porn sites like X hamster he's sitting there uh, pleasuring himself to that porn and then he's complaining about there's no women but he's not going out in the world working on a purpose working on a direction and then he wants to sit there and complain women don't like him when he doesn't like himself to put effort into himself and he's hoping some female will feel sorry for him and offer him a taste of the atomic waste but the only thing he does is show how much of a disgrace he is and again that's the incel in a nutshell and again no quality man is out here talking about how he's lonely no men are out here working on their purpose working on what they want to do so when i look at this article talking about the rise of lonely single men i just see it as complete bs because the only lonely single men out here are those at the bottom of the world because only people at the bottom of the world believe online dating is the world no all of us who are out here in the real world we know that there's more to life than online dating and that opportunities for relationships are everywhere in this world now if you want to learn more about how online dating is toxic you can pick up my book stop simping in cyberspace and in that book i go in depth on the cyber simp and how the cyber simp is basically taken advantage of by female predators who lurk on online dating and on platforms like instagram and only fans and i also talk about how to break out of the simp paradigm in my book stop simping why men don't need finance to get romance and that book will transform your life because it will teach you how to break out of the simp paradigm and be able to present to build yourself up so that you can go out here and be the best man you can be and i also have a book the man crisis which talks about the dysfunctional behavior of men like these incels and other beta males and also how this book helps you break out of the paradigm that many men have come into so you can find all of those books um stop simping in cyberspace stop simping why men don't need finance to get romance and the man crisis on amazon.com in paperback and kindle format you can also find the all of these books on smashwords the iron eye bookstore barnes and noble and google play and if you want to see me make more men's issues videos like this you can donate to my patreon my paypal and my cash app by clicking the links in the description box that's all i have to say for this video you can comment rate and subscribe now available in paperback those who refuse the gift of eternal life are condemned to wander in the darkness of eternal night get your copy of eternal night at online books